Let us continue with our lesson and uh, in this lesson let's go and discuss about the visibility modifier in our function as well as uh, properties. So we have already one class and uh, here we have uh, three properties. So let's go and add uh, one more. So let me add uh, one more property over here and I will call it as a seat and uh, let's give as a string and variable uh, which assign as an empty string for now. By default, all of this is uh, when we talk about all of these uh, properties over here, we can say that this is a public. And uh, if you see over here, it says that the redundant visibility modifier. So by default, all of our properties over here are in a public mode. So public, which means that the declaration of this variable is available for visibility for everyone so everyone can see this variable and same goes with the function so pub if it's a public and if you notice that the it says that redundant visibility modifier which means by default all of our function are public too so public as we already said that public declaration are visible to everybody so if we declare as a public then we can access it from here uh, from uh, object creation like here object creation here we are creating object and like our uh, inheritance when we are inheriting from a super class so we will have access but uh, let's say let's go to the vehicle and let let me create this is public and let me create this one as a private over here so when we talk about the private so private means the variable that we have declared or the properties that we declare as a private is only visible to this class. We can only make use of this variable inside this class. And same goes with the function, let's say this is a private. And when we say the same thing about the function, which means that it is now visibility to only this class. So let's go and to the car and which is inheriting from a vehicle. And now if you try to make use of that function, which is of override, and we will override a function of info. And uh, let's go over here and let's say that this function info is open, private open. And if you see that private is not compatible with the open. So if you want to expose this one, if you want to expose this class, or sorry, the function to our subclass, then that is not working. So we have to make use of our public and open. And if you do the same thing, like let's say we have this private function info, and if you go over here, and we have created the object of a vehicle and let's say v dot i can get access to you can see the drive and also give break and if i try to get access to the info then you will not have access to it because we have made it that as a private so private means whenever we have created a new object over here from that vehicle class we will not have access to it. So private means only private to this class currently that we are working. And if we make it as a public, right? So the error should be gone from here. So we have access to it when we make it as a public. And if we make it as a private, then you don't have access to it. Similarly, the engine number, if you try to go and access over here, the engine number, you can say that engine is invisible, which means it's a private. Same way, same goes to the car over here. And if you try to get access to engine in uh, init block over here, then you can see that it will give us an error. So which means that the private variable or private properties that we created over here and a function to the private function will not be accessible to any other class it's not exposed outside of this vehicle class. Only the vehicle has access to it. So the next, after private, we have uh, another keyword, which is of same as the uh, internal. And as, as I have already mentioned that the visibility for this 
internal keyword is the same module so if you are inside the same module and if you have added a new module from let's say a new module let's say add a new module or let's say you have imported a new module so if you create a variable as an internal then it will be not available to another module and but if will be available to all of our classes over here that we have created as well as the packages it is available for throughout this module and if you go over here that is accessible for us like uh, we created for internal var cc and we don't have any error in cc and uh, if you want to access that one we done cc we have access to it and uh, the fourth one is the final one that we'll be learning each of a let's say a protect we have protected and uh, let's create a one more function i uh, will just copy this and uh, let's say as a info or you can just say that that's it and let's say it's a default and default is never used okay no problem. so we can make use of a protected keyword over here so what does actually protected means that it's not available for it is not available for us to make use from our uh, let's say from our object creation but it will be available through our inheritance so in a simple way that what we can say it as a, the protected variable or a protected properties over here is visible visible to all of the inside the classes as well as the subclasses so we can access this through our inheritance only so when we implement this uh, vehicle so we have access to it so let's say what's the a protected as a seat so if i call over here as a seat S E A T C is equal to let's say us for seat and we have access to it through a implementation of a vector class which is a inheritance so we have made a we have implemented a vector class so through subclass we have access the seat which is of our protected properties in our superclass but if we go over here which we have created the object of a vehicle and if we try to access v dot seat then you cannot see that it's not available for us why because when we declare our properties or a function as a protected then it will not be available through our object creation it will be only available for us through our implementation of superclass which is we are inheriting from a vehicle then we have access to it similarly if we want to override the function as a default let's go and let's copy this one we will have access to it so it may be because we haven't made this as a open and if you go to car then we can override this because it is the keyword that we are making use over here each are protected so the protected is available through only the subclass we cannot access it through the object creation but we have to make use of a inheritance so we have already learned about how to make use of an inherit so through inherit we can access the protected properties as well as the function so here we have learned about the modifier for our class modifier a visibility modifier for our class as well as for our properties and also for a function so i hope you guys have a good understanding and i hope you learn something uh, great over here and we will meet up with more lecture in our coming videos till then have a great day